welcome you all to this Eucharistic celebration. Together with all your intentions, we are asked in this Mass to offer thanksgiving to God for Anne Nyendo and Austin Mwangi as they celebrate their birthdays today. Many blessings in um, the year that they have started today. Also, um, today we pray with the Gadanwa family, um, Father Boro Gadanwa, who is laying to rest um, his mom today, that God may console them and grant to mom a place of peace and rest. We thank God for the week that is coming to an end. Pray for his continued blessings for the day and for the weekend. We ask in this new month for his favor, his blessings and guidance in our Lenten observance. Today I think is day 10, day 10 of our Lenten observance. We offer our Lenten practices together with this most holy sacrifice that it may be acceptable to win the blessings, the mercy, and the favors of God. Set us free from our distress, O Lord. See our lowliness and suffering and take away all our sins. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Friends, as we offer this Mass, we shall hear in the Gospel, Jesus puts the bar a little high. He says, if you are angry with your brother, even that in itself needs to be brought to the Lord. If you are about to bring your sacrifice, and remember your brother has something against you, leave your sacrifice, go and be reconciled. You may not live physically, but we know that in some ways we may not be too good with our friends, with our family, with our neighbors, and also with our God. Let us truly feel sorry for our offenses and ask for the graces we need. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, we pray, may be so conformed to the Paschal observances that the bodily discipline now solemnly begun and undertaken may bear fruit in the souls of all. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, and not rather that he should turn from his way and live? A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, if a wicked man turns away from all his sins which he has committed and keeps all my statutes, and does what is lawful and right, he shall surely live, he shall not die. None of the transgressions which he has committed shall be remembered against him. For the righteousness which he has done, he shall live. Have I any pleasure in the death of the wicked, says the Lord God and not rather that he should turn from his way and live. But when a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity and does the same abominable things that the wicked man does, shall he live? 
none of the righteous deeds which he has done shall be remembered. For the trickery of which he is guilty and the sin he has committed, he shall die. Yet you say, the way of the Lord is not just. Hear now, O house of Israel, is my way not just? Is it not your ways that are not just? When a righteous man turns away from his righteousness and commits iniquity, he shall die for it. For the iniquity which he has committed, he shall die. Again, when a wicked man turns away from the wickedness he has committed and does what is lawful and right, he shall save his life because he considered and turned away from all the transgressions which he had committed. He shall surely live, he shall not die. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. O let your ears be attentive to the sound of my pleading. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But with you is found forgiveness, that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? I long for you, O Lord. My soul longs for his word. My soul hopes in the Lord more than watchmen for daybreak. More than watchmen for daybreak, let Israel hope for the Lord. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? For with the Lord there is mercy, in him plentiful redemption. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? Gospel acclamation. Cast away from you all the transgressions which you have committed, says the Lord, and get yourselves a new heart and a new spirit. The Lord be with you. A proclamation of the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, Jesus said to his disciples, Unless your righteousness exceeds that of the Pharisees and scribes, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to the men of old, You shall not kill. And whoever kills shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you that everyone who is angry with his brother shall be liable to judgment. Whoever insults his brother shall be liable to the council. And whoever says, you fool, shall be liable to the hell of fire. 
So if you are offering your gift at the altar, and they are, remember that your brother has something against you, leave your gift there before the altar and go. First, be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Make friends quickly with your accuser while you are going to him, with him to court, lest your accuser hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the guard, and you be put in prison. Truly, I say to you, you will never get out till you have paid the last penny. The Gospel of the Lord. I don't know whether you have been in a friendship or even at work in which you were offended so often and so, so frequently that sorry did not cut it anymore. Somebody was doing something that is offensive to you and keeping saying sorry and sorry and sorry until that it's like you started expecting that they will do this and uh, say sorry. There is a statement that says madness, madness is doing the same thing and expecting a different result. Madness is doing exactly the same thing and expecting a different result. There is a song, um, there is a reggae song that I like that talks about how a sorry has lost meaning. Uh, the guy is called, I think he's called Taras Riley. He's, your words have no meaning. Your words have no meaning because you continue to do the same thing. Now sorry is a sorry word. Look at all I've done for you. And then he says... Every day you break another piece of my heart and then you keep saying sorry. It says, I'm sorry that you're sorry, but sorry is not good enough for me. Kwani mnaijua, naona watu wakikani kama wanajio ngoma. It's a very nice song, you know. It says, your sorry has lost meaning. There's another song, one of the songs that I love in weddings. When the bride is coming in. The vows go on broken and you still know I do. Muna maniangale hivi ni kama naimba Greek. Love keep an honor always true to you. It's a beautiful song. But unfortunately, our vows of baptism and our vows to God, they are not entirely unbroken. Many times they are broken. There's another song by Kamaru. There's a song you know, he was like fed up. This lady, we went shopping, saying she's going to the grandmother. Now, she knew all, all along that she's going to Mombasa. One of the intentions of our Lenten observance is reparation. To repair. To repair. Reparation is the action of making amends for a wrong that one has done by providing payment or other assistance to those who have been wronged to our neighbor, and to God. And especially for our most common faults. And our human nature, your human nature, as a woman, as a man, your specific temperament, my specific personality, has made me susceptible to certain, certain faults than others. And, you know, one of the statements from Isaiah is that we all had gone astray in one way or another. We all have offended God in, in one way or another. And probably there is, there is probably one in which it is always on the list. Nkamavile, when you are in, in primary school, kuna wale hawange kosa kwa list ya noisemakers. Top three, ata teacher alikuwa najua. Top three, na labda wengine wakotu up. Top three, alikuwa najua. Ata before apewe list, 
hivi kutakuwa na jina ya ya Alan hapo kuna wengine ambao they will not be on the noise maker list but kwa ile list ya ku break in kwa refectory kwa dining room ya kuiba gedheri hawatakosa kuna wengine ambao is skiving school now there is we have our common fault there is something that we keep going to god and telling god we are sorry every other time every other time until even if not for god but even for us we feel no we cannot keep with this way we cannot madness we say it is doing the same thing and expecting a different result we go for confession we come for prayer and then we expect that we shall and it it has not worked so we have to try something different our lent and observance part of it is to help us in reparation in saying to god we are more than sorry we do this may you see this and it's coming from the first reading and reparation is to neighbor and to god but there is also a part of restitution restitution is the restoration of something that has been lost stolen but to its proper owner but with god we are not able to do restitution restitution because many times is graces we have wasted and opportunities we have wasted and offenses there is no restitution but to neighbor actually we are able maybe i should i should uh, think more about that I, I'm, i'm not entirely sure but it doesn't seem as if um we are, there is restitution to god but there is reparation to god repairing our relationship with him there is this um in the in the in the responsorial psalm bwana kama wewe ungehesabu maovu yetu nani angesimama who could stand so our lenten observance we we come to him and say lord see our self sacrifice see our kujinyima and forgive us and give us the grace we do something different that you may also do give us another grace that we may be able to overcome these most common faults there is this eucharistic song they call the daily toil plant in our hearts poor soil they call we start and spoil each hopeful dream the chances we have missed the graces we resist lord in the eucharist take and redeem our selfish hearts make true our failing faith renew our lives belong to you our lord and king we attempt by not simply words but by actions by resisting the first reading said if the wicked man turns away from their sins he committed and he keeps all my statutes and does what is right and just he shall surely live he shall not die reparation and our lenten observance is not simply a sadistic we say it is not simply a sadistic making ourselves suffer it is not a suffering unto self it is a suffering directed to god god see we don't come with words only we don't want our sorry to have no meaning we don't want to continue in this way to gain a self discipline self discipline we said earlier is the ability to make yourself do what you should do when you should do it whether you feel like it or not our responsibilities to god and our responsibilities to neighbor land is also a time to ask for strength in those places where we are doing well that the lord may strengthen us and keep us in his holy service Medi would want to come for morning mass as you have but it continues to be just a dream it continue to be a new year's resolution they are not able you know lend is a time to ask for strength that those things we are doing well god keep us true <clears throat> let us bear even more fruit in those things it is a time of counting our strengths and telling god thank you for this keep giving us graces some people would want to follow mass but it is just a thought they say online kesho ntaamka mapema kesho nikienda nitafanya hivyo but they don't you know it is a time to meditate about the presence of god the graces the blessings we have received our faith the sacraments our lady the saints and our eternal destination there's a post i want to finish there's a post that was put in one of the groups of saint paul dream in decades strategize in years plan in quarters and execute in days If you know your north star and your next step you have everything. Lent is a time to find our true north star, our eternal north star. 
our ultimate North Star. And if you know that North Star and the next step that is taking you there, then indeed we have everything. May God bless us. May he bless our Lenten observance. And may he see what we are doing. Find favor with him and bless our lives, our families, our work, our country, and our land. To Jesus Christ. Pray now, friends, that this, my sacrifice and yours, may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and the glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, by which in your power and kindness you willed us to be reconciled to yourself and our salvation to be restored. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, mighty and eternal God. For you will that our self-denial should give you thanks. Humble our sinful pride contribute to the feeding of the poor and so help us to imitate you in your kindness and so we glorify you with countless angels and with one voice of praise we acclaim holy 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 lord god of hosts heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest You are indeed holy, and, O Lord, and the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray you, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant. It will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Save us, the Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. 
Therefore, as we celebrate this memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the cup of blessing, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray. But partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Philip Agnolo, Bishop, David, his auxiliary, John Emeritus Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Lucy Wanjiro Gadanwa, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who was united with your son in a death like his may also now be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters and all who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, spouse of that Virgin, with St. Padre Pio, St. John Paul II, with St. Paul, with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray <laughs> the words that Jesus taught us, asking our Father to see our Lenten observance, to send down the blessings of his graces, his favors to us and to those for whom we offer this Mass, and say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. <coughs> but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Let this be. Behold, friends, the Lamb of God. Behold, he who is our strength, he take away our sin and the sin of the world. And happy are we who are called to this supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be healed. Special is Paris Vivus et Vital. My Jesus, 
I believe that you're present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As I live, says the Lord, I do not desire the death of the sinner, but rather that he should turn back and live. Let us pray. May these holy refreshments of your sacrament restore us anew, O Lord, and cleanse us all of our old ways Take us up into the mystery of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. I want to thank you all for your active participation in this Mass. By your haste, receive a blessing. Look with favor on this, your people, your sons and daughters, O Lord, that what their observance outwardly declares, it may inwardly bring about. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Mighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We remain. We go in the peace of Christ. Our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Wishing you a wonderful day and a blessed weekend. Same to you, Father. We meet in the evening for the way of the cross, I think at 5.30. Number 712, number 712, part 9.
You are my joy, my 